welcome to Pentor. Last year you may recall my test ride of the electric MEG Rebel. Well, it was so good, I decided I'd put an order in for one. In a few months, being manufactured, but it's here, just in time for spring and the riding season. Been out on it already, checked its rapid charging. I did a ride the other day with David, and we're off out again today. I'm going to try and charge at a place called GridServe in Essex. It has, I think, 24 rapid chargers, so we'll see just how good that is. Certainly won't be a queue. Anyway, just waiting for David to arrive. Cat's not very impressed <laughs> with the wind today, and uh, <laughs> I will uh, see you shortly. Got heat coming through those hands. Uh -huh. yep. Got hot hands. So as well as the, I did an intro earlier for Fintall viewers, David. But anyway, so. David's uh, having a laugh with me because last week I got cold fingers riding this bike. I had the heated grips on, but uh, my fingertips got quite cold. No hand protection or wind protection like there is in the GS, I guess. So I've got these nice heated gloves. And uh, we've just pulled over to adjust the temperature. <laughs> but I've not got the heated grips on, so... Ah, no heated grips today. That's no up. heated grips. I've just got the heated gloves at the moment. Yeah. Should get a little bit more range. Of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit wet on the road here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then also I've got my phone mounted on the handlebars, so I can look at how much, how many kilowatts I'm using. Put completely pointlessly, really, because the, the bike tells you that anyway. clean the bike again. Yep. So David's on his trusty Yamaha. Well, you can see because it's behind. No rider aids. No rider aids. <laughs> and no apps. No apps. <laughs> no phone connection. No Bluetooth. So we're Bluetooth, we're GPS, we're everything on here. Just a lot of helmet noise. Yep. That's it. Yeah. So at the moment it's showing uh 83% battery and a range of 86 miles. So yep. It's okay, isn't it? Yep. Not too bad. So our planned ride um, is around 65 miles to Gridserve near Braintree. Hopefully I can get a charge, because if not, we'll be in big poo-poo. I haven't got a tail load in this one. No. <laughs> We might be scrounging power from someone, so... Can we plug yeah. in, please? Oh, you've got that, that rig with you, yeah? Yeah, I've got the three-pin. The kettle... the old three-pin uh, that you can plug into the house mains. But that trouble is with that, to get uh, enough battery to get back, we'd have to sit for three hours. Right. Um, rather than 20 minutes. So we'll, we'll we'll find out how we get on. I'm sure it will all work, because they're brand new chargers. That's the difference in time, Martin, yeah? From one charger to the other, the slow, the fast. Well, this one is a three pin, so it only charges at two kilowatts. So it runs off your house, house, house mains. So yep. it's a two kilowatt charge rate. Whereas the, hopefully, what we plug into at GridServe will charge at 25 kilowatts. Oh, big jump. So that's significantly, yep. thank you, more than ten, tenfold faster. So, quite quite a difference. This is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Makes you, yeah. makes you, makes you wonder why all the, all the charge points around are not the fast ones. What? Um, well, because it costs a lot of money, cost, the fast costs more to fit. Oh, right, and yeah. you, need the, you need the power connection to the, the grid, oh, so oh, right, yeah. your household plug doesn't, you know, two kilowatts isn't oh. a lot. But if you started... Uh, you know, at this place they have a huge battery storage. You know, they bring in um, a lot of electricity from the grid. I think, I don't know, anyway. Um, but it's quite interesting. It's the first of its kind, really. Have you used this one before? I've been there in the car. Yeah. And it worked okay uh, with the car, so hopefully it will work fine with the bike. Those at um, Alverdon, will they fit your bike or not? No, or are they just Tesla? There, only, there are some slow ones there that would fit the bike, right. but the fast ones are all Tesla only. 
with these this uh, grid serve has both Tesla and fit any vehicle. Right. Fit, fit all cars and um, what? And uh, this motorbike and the Harley Davidson will plug in as well. All right. Yeah. So there's only, as far as I know, there's only the Energica and the Harley Davidson live wire that you can DC charge. They're the only mo electric motorbikes available for fast charging. That's um, the new market branch. Do they do the electric one or is that uh, Harley Davidson or not? They'll sell it, but they can't support it. All right. So they they also have, uh, I think they have a few branches. They own the Guildford Harley Davidson. This is Lee. And right. down there, they've got all the facilities, including a charger and the train. Because the mechanics, as you can imagine, they have to be totally different training yeah. and skills. Because they're dealing yeah. with high voltage electricity, yeah. rather than oil and grease. Yeah. So it's quite different, and also you know, safety and different tools and whatever. Selected branches to do an electric, yeah. yep. That's it. Well, they could they could choose to do it in Newmarket, I guess. But the investment is, um, you know, Harley Davidson insists. Well, you rightly so. You you put the investment in to do it. You know, you put in the fast charger. You put in the uh, yeah the mechanical the mechanic skills and that sort of thing to support yeah. the bike. Yeah. I don't know if they've been very popular yet, are they, or do you know anything about figures, or...? The Harley Davidson? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lovely bike. It's, I don't, it's not quite as uh, powerful as the Energica. Right. And the battery's smaller. Um, but, uh, so I see people testing them, they, uh, they love them, they think they're yeah. great. Yeah. I think we've had a heavy shower here, Martin. Yeah, it's been a good dose of water, isn't there? Yeah, big puddle. Yeah, look at that. Well, I'm in rain mode, so <laughs> should uh, keep the torque at bay. Yeah. Yeah, as I say, I'm in uh, just normal mode. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, oh, it's lovely up here. These roads are superb, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, lovely area. Cool. It does turn in beautifully. This bike. Yeah, there's some fantastic skies, aren't they? Yeah. Those clouds. That, uh, yeah. I really don't know if the GoPro can pick it up as well as I can yeah. enjoy looking at it. That's what you do until you look at playback. <laughs> I'll be choosing the wrong way to go. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose we could uh, turn left and right when we see the clouds and the clear skies. We just keep heading for the clear sky, Mark. <laughs> Oh, that looks amazing over there to the right, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, some nice views out here. It's a nice ride to go you know, go and have a bike service. Yeah. Quite nice, yeah. Very nice. Cool, I can really hear, hear the wind in your yeah. in your helmet. <laughs> so can I. But you've got a screen on there, haven't you? Yeah, it's a screen on here, but it's... I think it's only cosmetic. I, it, it must, it does a little bit of, I haven't got anything on my body, but I've got it on the helmet mask, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I get, if I get right down, like, like I was 16 and got right down here now, can you hear any noise now? No, it's not being quiet. No, I've got, I've got my head more or less on the tank, as if I'm yeah. trying to get the last <laughs> half an hour out of it. Well, I think I think we might be getting wet. Yeah, that's a good old, good old storm ahead, isn't it? Uh, well, if, yeah, let's hope it goes just a little bit different direction to us. So, David, uh, for you, petrol-wise, when we come back and we'll pop in there, look. Okay. Tesco's. I see. The old Tesco stuff. And up here is grid serve. We have to go up to the next roundabout and then round it. There it is, with a G on the side. Well, I think we've done quite well. The battery says 
It's so alright here, I don't need to fill up, I can just go back again, I'm just about get home. Just go do it, yeah. We've done 52.6 miles. Right, yeah. And that was at 98% when I left, or when we uh, left. A lot of that is in rain mode, so it would have made a difference, wouldn't it, or not? Well, the weather makes a difference, I think, yeah. yeah. It's this Volvo, and I'll put over. Lovely job. Yeah, rain mode, well certainly, I think rain mode, um, well it makes it smoother, it doesn't necessarily use less energy. Oh, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't know whether that might extend your range a bit. That's what it's just... Well, it probably does, because your smoother dri driving or riding is going to make... Well, if you said it sort of cuts the horsepower down a lot, yeah, you, that's what I'd go and buy. Oh, lovely speed! Yeah, you can do that now you're near a bloody charger, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Just, just remember to stop. Yeah. I think... Yeah. Yeah, remember to stop. That's true. Here we are. Grid serve. There's an electric van coming out there. <laughs> I'm going to be out of place here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the old petrol. No, there'll be some petrol. No, see, no one's using it. But, oh, is there any... <laughs> Was anyone here? There's a couple of cars, a couple of Teslas. You have to go around the back. Oh, look, all the Tesla chargers are covered up. Coming soon, well I used one of those the other day. Maybe they've uh, got a problem with them. I think that. <coughs> right, so I need to go in here. You can come park next to me, I guess. Up to 90 kilowatts, that'll do me. I'll go this side for that. <laughs> well, I don't need those ones in the middle. Where, where is the cost of... Uh, yeah, inside. Oh, oh, in that, oh, in yeah. the building there? The oh, building, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I could pull up where those other cars are. I don't want to take the bay where somebody wants to charge. And no, there. no. Yeah, so that's good. Exactly 50% battery. 53.6 miles. That's pretty bloody good, isn't it? Yeah. Bloody brilliant. How dirty is it? Oh dear. Actually, what I'll do, I'll pull Listen. alongside you, Mark. Yeah, pull alongside. Yeah, park it up next to me. Yeah, park it up next to me. Right, oh, I need to work out how to get it charged now. Well, I we'll know how to get it charged, but we need to work out how to pay for the... I think it should be contactless. I was assuming this is all second nature to you. Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see, if it's second nature. <laughs> 24p a kilowatt, so that's that's reasonable price, I would say. They're all very charge-wise. Yeah, the one we used last uh, last weekend, that was... Can uh, you do that? Contactless payment, how do we do it? Plug the chart. Oh, it says it's telling you to plug in there. When you put your card up there, that's telling you what to do there. Is it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hello. Fast charge initialization. Present card. All right. Cool. See, you know what to do, David. Well, it says tells you what to do. You have to connect Start. first, for looks of it. Here, yeah, start. Preparing oh, yeah. to charge. Setting up uh -huh. communication. With car? Doesn't yeah, look I'm like a car. A bike. I haven't got around the bikes yet, have right. I? Not with the graphics. Right. So it's initialization. I don't know. I hope it, hopefully it does work. <laughs> oh, charging. There we go. Yeah, it's worked. Look at that. I love uh -huh. it. Well, that's good. That's charging nicely. Yep. Now, I need to pop the charge rate up. Well, it's, uh, it's at 20, well, it is at 23 kilowatts. That's good, that's good enough. Right, we'll go and get a coffee, shall we, David? Why not? Go and get a nice coffee. 51%, does that coincide with what you've got on your display, then? Uh, yeah, it does, yeah. Oh, that's, is that one like your friend's son had, Martin, the Volkswagen in front? That's ID3? it. Yeah, it looks all right, doesn't it? <laughs> It looks, it actually looks quite nice, that ID3. Yeah, and that's, um, what's, 
What sort of range are we talking there? I reckon they're 200 miles. I don't know. Uh, are I, they? I don't know much about them. I know the Tesla 300, but uh, I don't know. Here we go. Anyway, let's um, get a photo. Um, on my phone's on the bike still. That'd be a lot of good, wouldn't it? Leave it there. Okay. Sorry, Mark. Let's get the oh, look, my phone's dirty, look. I'll tell you. The bloody mud and sludge on the road. Yeah. Never mind. My dear chrome yeah. base motorcycle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see the tank is lighting up. Oh, man. Yeah, look at, look at that. that. You've got to get rid of them short, that graphic. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Look at that. You've got to get a video of that one, Martha. Oh, you're, 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 we've done 6% while we stood here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, uh, how about Mr. Electric here? Are oh, you right? Yeah, good. Really? What? You're the first first electric motorbike? Really? Oh, we're famous then, aren't we? It's strange, doesn't it? Yeah. There you go. Fully electric, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 100% electric. We've done, uh, how many miles have we done? But it was 53 miles. So apparently, um, we're the first, well, I'm the first electric motorcyclist they've seen here. That's the first. And we're having a, uh, a nicer Costa Cheers, David. Thank you. But, uh, I'll show you anchored serve. So we've got 24 charges and just me and a Tesla charger. Fully charged. Yeah, fully charged. So, well, not quite. Anyway, we got up to 97% with the battery right. while we drank our coffee and what have you. Got some good interest, didn't it? From those, uh, <laughs> there's some other bikers came up to yeah. have a chat. I wanted to know all about it. I can see if things carry on like they are, you're going to find your second wife with that thing. Wow. More reliable than a woman, David. <laughs> More reliable than a woman. <laughs> Oh dear. Actually, yeah, yeah, your bikes. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? You know, he speaks to a spoke to a guy the other week. He said, oh, you know, I'd like to love a bike again, but wife wouldn't be too pleased. I said, you know, the answer to that is what? You ditch, the yeah. ditch the wife. <laughs> See that proof of motorbikes? Be <laughs> Oh dear. That's not really the right answer, is it? Oh, that that cost you a lot more than a motorbike, though, Martin, than a lot of, lot of instances on those. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm getting more and more impressed by this, though. I mean, that, that we, you know, that was that's pretty good range. Yeah, yeah. A secu you know, solid hundred mile range this time of year when it's bloody cold. Yeah, that's right. Pretty good, really. So I think riding the speed limit in the wind in the summer, it's going to probably get. Do you well, it'd be nice if you could nip down the coast and back and not worry about the charger, Mark. It would. Yeah. yeah. Well, the trouble Which... is the chargers up on the coast, there aren't... There's one at Hunstanton that's a really old one. It's in a car park you have to pay for as well. Yeah, I'm It right. probably won't work. And you'd have to pay pay to park while you're charging. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Hopefully they'll bring some more charges up into North Norfolk at some point. Well, they will do all over the place eventually, won't they? Yes, they will. Oh, look at the lovely weather. Here we go. Here we now go. that is hail. That is proper stuff. Well, some of it's hail, some of it's rain, but shit. I thought we were going to get away with it today, but we haven't. We haven't? Right, we're buggered. <laughs> Time will tell on how much we get. Yeah. So, I think... Um, I think David really the the train tour viewers should be grateful to us for braving this uh, horrible weather just to bring them 
the latest technology for an electric motorbike in winter. Oh, well, that's the winter now, it's spring, isn't it? Yeah, it's spring. No, this is real spring. It's a winter's afternoon in spring. In spring. What, oh, what is your temperature telling you now? Remember, you've got to work it out. Yeah, it's 11 degrees. Now, we've David and I worked out that um, we think the Energica outside temperature is plus 4 degrees. So it's very Italian. So it wants to think it's a bit the weather better than it is. So, um, 11 degrees means it's about 7, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah it feels about 7 anyway, not, yeah. not 11. Yeah. Peter Gloves are doing okay. Good. Yeah. So, I'm okay. Have you still got your heated grips on or I've not? I've just turned them on at about 15 minutes, no, 10 minutes ago. Just oh, I came out of Dunmo, I turned them on. Right. Because I can see this, this stuff coming. I thought, oh, a bit of extra heat ready. <laughs> uh, it is hail. Yeah, it is hail. Yeah. Oh, thank you, God. I do need to be careful because if um, you get a good dose of hail, it could, could sit on the road. Yeah. There's ice. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I, I'm, I'm going to put the Virago in the rain mode now. Oh, yeah, you put it in rain mode. Yeah. Put it in the hail mode, I would say. Yeah, hail mode. Yeah. Put hail mode on there? Yeah. Oh, no doubt I have somewhere in the electronics. Yeah. Oh, sunshine, isn't it? Oh, how about that, Martin? That was short-lived. Now, that's OK. Yeah, a little bit of... Uh, we, can live, we can live with that. Yeah, that was OK. What a fantastic ride I've had today. Absolutely super. Ran out of GoPro battery. Ran out of batteries in the heated gloves, but the heated grips did well anyway. Brilliant. And uh, I used 50% battery to go 53 miles one way and 50% battery to do about 55 miles the other way. So you're looking at about 105, 110 miles range on a cold day, six degrees centigrade now. Pretty good. And uh, gave it a few blasts on the way back. Brilliant. Grid served work to treat, absolutely superb. Um, not a problem having an electric bike, it really isn't. I had a really good Afternoon out, full afternoon out, few hours riding, one 25 minute charge stop and coffee. And that was it. Superb. Still got over 30% battery left after a little bit more riding um, around uh, Ely <laughs> afterwards and uh, give me a little blast around the bypass. And here we are. Washed again, got all the sludge and mud off from going through hail and rain and whatever. Time to put it away and pop it on charge for tomorrow. Anyway, before I say goodbye, just to let you know, I have another toy coming in two weeks' time. What do you think it is? Another two-wheeled vehicle. So what could that be? Not another electric? Mm. Have a guess. Comment below. All will be revealed in a couple of weeks' time. Thanks for watching, Fentor. See you soon. Bye-bye.